we are going to be learning how to interpret and decode a resistor to see how big it is, how much resistance it has. In some high school classes, the highest amount of resistance can be found among students. It's hard to sit and listen whenever you're just like brain dead from school in general. Especially when learning is sit and get. Your teacher's just having you sit down for an hour and listen to them speak. Quick question, our ammeter, does it need to be part of the circuit or not part of the circuit? That's not the case in this physics class at Broomfield High School. After a short introduction, the students take the lead in this lab. They're conducting their own investigations and they are scientists and engineers. Susie Dykstra knows that turning the lesson over to these scientists in training not only makes physics more accessible, but can inspire further curiosity. It's all inquiry based so that our students are developing their own models of how different scientific phenomena occur and being able to collect their own evidence to be able to, to refine and improve those models. While students often wonder the age-old question, when am I ever going to use this? No, Still going on. That doesn't happen in this class. Can anyone tell me what these guys are right here? The guest speakers from CU Boulder. Resistors, very good. So do you see how the one that we first put down underneath it, they have 47K? She's teaching them the same exact skills. She teaches college students. This is her career and this is her, like what she went to school for and everything. Giving them a taste of a possible future career in electronics. We made a little heart with lights that light up around the outside. In physics, we wouldn't normally have soldering. 53 there. And so it was a pretty cool thing to be able to have that happen. It was cool to like, then like test it out and be like, wow, that worked. This kind of lesson can light a love for learning. I would say when you're excited about learning, I mean, it makes you want to keep going on your learning path and see what more you can do. And it makes you really curious about the world. And that is exactly the point. Being able to have the confidence to jump into a difficult, challenging situation and know that they can they can navigate that successfully and they might fail and they and they might stumble but they'll be able to get through it on their own or I'm gonna sneak in here with tweezer. Being able to find the, the people that can help them. That was just that was a cool experience.